Doctor, why am I here? Because you have been killing too many people. Mackenzie, you are a big threat to society. And you are especially a threat to your family. My family abused the shit out of me. My father raped me and tortured me. The kids in my school. Which you blew up using unknown abilities. What I was going to say was that the kids in my school tortured me. They literally tried to rape me. Mackenzie, please calm down. You are going to make things here a whole lot harder if you keep acting this way. What by telling the damn truth? Bitch, no, I will not stop acting the way I am. No, sweetie, you're raging. You can tell me the so-called truth of yours calmly instead of raging. Do you honestly think I am going to tell you the truth calmly? Ha, bitch. You're dead ass wrong. We are going to make you calm whether you like it or not, whore. Go ahead and try. You won't succeed. Dr. Peter tases Killer Dread. I don't think this app can offer a tasing option. Wow, wow. Ow, what the fuck, you white room loving bitch? I did that because you have me no choice. Stay here, you ugly crazy bitch. I'll get the other doctor so that you can speak with him. He will be here shortly. We see another doctor appear from the fucking I don't know where because plot logic. Oh, uh, what have we here? A criminally insane girl with a tragic backstory. Haha, <laughs> you are going to hate it here. Who the fuck are you and why do you know so much about me and my origins? Well, you're all over the news and we doctors get all the recent info about crazy people like you. You know my parents. Yes, dear, yes, I do. They were the ones who brought you here, remember? Yes, I do, why? Just wanted to see if you remember what happened that day. Yeah, well, I do, what is that in terms of importance to you? Haha, <laughs> here you are a good girl, Mackenzie Dwyer. Let's see if you remember the day you were born. Do you? No, why the fuck are you asking me these questions? You fucking creep. I'm asking these questions because I'm a fucking doctor whore. That's what they do. Yeah, well, I've never seen a doctor who's as creepy and as rapey as you. Bitch. Don't say that, darling. You have so much power in you. You wouldn't want to throw that away, right? What power? And you, why the fuck did you just touch me like that, you? I wanted to make you feel comforted and safe, like a good doctor. You, are you flirting with me? Well, if that is how you perceive it, then yes. Yes, I am. You, I am an underage girl. And you're like a 50 or so year old man. That's disgusting. It now cuts to Peter and Killer Dread's mother. So you must be the mother of Mackenzie Dwyer. Yes, yes I am. Okay, good. Now why have you actually brought her here? She's too much to handle, and I feel like as a mother I can't handle her anymore. Kenny will start getting really fucking bitchy towards me and my husband. She also is obsessed with violence and crime, and murder and we all know isn't normal. I see, but she told me that you and your husband abused the shit out of her. Could you explain maybe why that is? Well I did say that if she continues to act this way then she would be sent here to Arkham Asylum. And I did murder her friends and other family members because she ran away. But she came back with these two weird looking people. And she found the body pile whilst going to find the gun safe which she knew how to open. And yeah that's about it. Then later my husband raped her for yelling at me and outing me for killing so many people. Wait you're saying you killed people just because you don't like your daughter? Yes. That's sickening. You don't kill people just because you don't like Kenny. I know she's a complete wee. You said two weird looking people. What did they look like? Oh they both looked like clowns. One in red and black and the other in purple and green. I'm going to end this shit here for theory's sake and because fuck you it's gonna end on a cliffhanger. So there you go bitches.